Hello, today we're going to talk about the this keyword in Java. So what is the this keyword? This contains a pointer to whatever object this is currently in. This, even though it acts kind of like a variable, it does not need to be declared. Also, this can only be used in either non-static methods or constructors. So let's look at it. Uh, we've got a heap here, and let's say we've just got some random object on the heap, and inside that random object we've got these two variables, string x, which points to another object on the heap, int array y, which points to another object on the heap, and this, which points right back around to the original object. So there's three main uses for this. Number one, to specify a field over another variable of the same name. Two, to call another constructor in the same class. And three, to pass a copy of a pointer, reference, back to the current class. So let's take a look at these three uses individually. So first, to specify a field. Now I've created a couple of fields. One's static, one's non-static. And then I've created some methods. Now let's look at the printx method. You notice I've got a local variable with the same name as the field. This is legal. However, when we tell it to access x, it is going to give the local variable precedence. Now let's look at another example. Let's say we have a setter method. So we're accepting a parameter x, and again we have a field with the same name. Well, we want to change the field to the parameter's value. So to specify when we're talking about the field, we say this. So we're talking about this object, dot x, equals the parameter x. Same thing here, y. We're creating a local variable y. And we're saying this y, as in the field, equals y, the local variable. Second use is to call another constructor in the same class. So we've got this first constructor here. Then we have this and we're calling this other constructor here. If we use it in this sense, this must be the first line in the constructor. And the third is to pass a pointer, reference, back to the current object. So we made a random class, we'll call it this keyword three. Uh, the first thing we do in the main method is we create an instance of this keyword three. We called it an object and we set that to equal new keyword three. So an object is a new instance of keyword three. So what happens is we have a new object. Then, since we've created this new object, this also caused this instance variable to be created, which is a different class called some class. And the name of the variable is another object, and that points to a new instance of some class. So what happens there? is our variable another object points to an instance of some class. Now we're calling method two from the instance an object and we go to method two and what this is doing is this is calling a method called some method in the instance another object and it's passing this and this being the pointer back to the original object. So we passed it and this new object created a variable that points right back to the original object. So for some further reading about what this keyword does, you can go to Oracle's website. You can either use this web address here, or probably more easily, type into Google using the this keyword, and then Oracle.